bit louder than that, you Collingwood fans. Come on, a little bit louder. That's a little bit better, thank you. Sorry to scream at you all, I'm a bit deaf because I had the flu, so I couldn't even hear that anyway. Um, now, welcome along tonight. We're at the Manhattan Hotel, it's Collingwood night. Two champions here from the Collingwood Football Club. I just need to allude to the fact this is a show called That's Good for Footy, Footy Fanatics. This is where the fans meet the players and the players meet the fans. And uh, there's a lot of serious footy panel shows out there and this isn't one of them, OK? So settle yourself in and have a little bit of fun. Our first panellist, he has played a total of 91 games and kicked a total of 31 goals. He made his AFL debut back in 2013. He wears the number four, four on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Brody Grunny. <laughs> I'll just show you before he actually gets comfortable, brother. You can stand up. People always like to see when the players are here, like how tall you actually are. So he's a big boy, isn't he? Huh? There's your ruckman with the Collingwood Football Club. Uh, let's get our second panelist out here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he played a total of 131 games and kicked 81 goals. He has made his AFL debut back in 2012. He wears the number seven on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Adam Trelaw. <laughs> Two good-looking roosters and me. <laughs> Couldn't get any better than this, could you? Welcome to the show, boys. Um, we've both had you on here before, but how nice is it to have you back? Brody, welcome. Welcome to me. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're having a wonderful season, my friend. A bit of a stellar output that you're uh, doing at the moment. Does that uh, attribute that to anything off the top? Um, Bring it, uh, get your microphone up here a little oh, bit. Sorry, it's my you're first right? time. Well, my second time. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I just think... Um, I'm going into my sixth year now, so yeah. starting to sort of see what it's all about and getting a really nice work-life balance, I think, Continuity. helps as well. So, um, I like it. Well done, mate. And uh, Adam Trelaw, nice to have you here, mate. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Again. it's always good to have Third you back. Third time now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're his, uh, well, I suppose, his right-hand man. Everything that comes down from him is left to you and you're off and running yeah, with it. Yeah, he makes me look good. <laughs> well, let's see how he goes tonight and see whether that happens. Let's do it. We want to introduce... Uh, the boys to you, uh, we're going to do it with a segment we like to call Who Are You? I always like when we get the boys back on the show because they're like, wow, they matter those theme songs to your intros. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Hey, the way this works, boys, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to ask you a series of questions. They're a little bit about life in general and a little bit about the club. Then I'm going to talk about the players, OK? Um, but it gives us, us an opportunity to know a little bit more about you with this segment. So what we're going to do, you can just go um, jump in any old time. But uh, who did you barrack for growing up? We'll start with you, Brody. I, um, I barracked for Carlton. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I varied for Carlton, but um, obviously from, from Adelaide originally, so I wasn't a massive footy head growing yeah. up, so I, I also sort of, I suppose, supported the Adelaide, both Adelaide teams. I yeah, guess. it's always good to get that question out first, so as we can then get on with the rest of the night. So we know it was Carlton, we don't have to say any more about it. What about you, Ads? Yeah, you wouldn't uh, believe me, but I varied for Carlton too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. OK, as I said, we'll move, we'll barracks, move quickly along. Barracks, barracks, not barracks. Anymore. Yeah, in past tense. Uh, when you're looking for motivation, a song to get you up and about, what is it? Have you got one? Um, I love um, The Greatest Showman, if anyone's ever seen oh, that yeah. movie. Yeah. And um, Hugh Jackman. there's probably four songs on there that I absolutely love. Oh, great. This is The Greatest Show is probably the, my yeah. favourite one. Oh, nice. Excellent. Was that the song or a yeah, show? Yeah, well... The Greatest show. show is what the song oh. is called. But the okay. song's from that, um, yeah. song... I actually found myself last week um, just... Before the game, sitting down on the couch and chucking on, because uh, I got this new TV where you can talk into the. Um, oh yeah, it's like you Apple. Can talk into the thing, like Apple TV. Like Siri. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And anyway, you know how that comes up. I like suggested songs. All right. Anyway, so yeah, you guys are pretty bored already. I can tell. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, there was like 
Queen started playing and, and like ACDC, Back in Black. So like that was playing before the game last week and I, I didn't mind it. Up and about. Oh, I like it. Excellent. All right, whilst we're talking about that, how about this? Is there a Netflix or stand show that you've recently binged on or you're currently binging on? Yeah. Um, 13 Reasons Why Season oh, 2 came out yeah. about last week. So I watched the first couple of episodes. And I like yeah. the CrossFit movies on there actually. Yeah, okay. Bit of controversy uh, surrounding 13 reasons. They were thinking about, yeah, anyway, we won't go into that. Um, sorry, Brody. I, I'm um, actually, well, now that like Game of Thrones, yep. when that, well, I was pretty big on that. And then, um, pretty similar, Vikings. I was really big on Vikings. Right, but, no. but I understand I'm really late to Vikings. Like, it's been yeah. out for forever and a day. So, um, you yeah. D- don't see any similar. Has anyone here seen Vikings? There's no similarity to Ragnar Lofbrook's brother there, is there? <laughs> No? Right. Yeah. Uh, well, well, that's sort of like Pendles actually started calling me Rolo. Yeah, right. And um, I didn't have any understanding of what it meant, <laughs> so that's actually why I started watching. Oh, good. All right. Thanks for that, Pendles. Um, what would you have done if you didn't play footy? I'd like to think I'd be an NBA player, but okay. that's quite tough. Um, originally, when I was young, I wanted to be two things. I wanted to play footy till about the age of 26, go over to America, take up acting, become an actor, whilst being in the WWE. <laughs> so my favourite, my favourite actor is The Rock yeah. and obviously he started as a wrestler so yeah. that was where my ambition was <laughs> and I've, got, I've still got, the, I've got uh, the hardcore championship at home yeah. and actually, uh, a, re- a replica of it and yeah. when I play beer pong at home with my roommates yeah. the winner always gets is the current champion so cool I'm currently the, the hardcore champion <laughs> Excellent, that's awesome I know you're a thinker and that's awesome Good on you mate, what about you Brody? Um, mine would be a little bit simpler I, I suppose Right now, I would have just finished up probably my uni degree. Okay. Um, and then just be just working the nine to five. Specialising in? Um, oh, well, I've always said that I wanted to do physiotherapy, but um, the beauty, uh, again, I don't want to bore you guys, but <laughs> the, the beauty right, with um, going to uni that I've found um, this year, I, I've been able to, well, over the past few years that you were able to surround yourself with different people um, yeah. in a different sort of environment um, and it's, I'm able to draw sort of motivations from different yeah. things and okay. sort of see how much, um, uh, you know, they are driven to, you know, get into medicine or mm. become doctors and stuff like that and um, to be around people like that, um, that aren't footballers, I find really helps me to sort of um, make the most of my time at the club and yeah, also good. time away from it. So Yeah, nice. Yeah, and physiotherapy, I don't suppose there'd be any women in the room that would want to take up any options of getting massaged by Brady Grundy, would you? Yeah, all right, moving right along. Um, outside of AFL, what's your favourite sport? A basketball. Absolutely. And wrestling. <laughs> now, whilst we're on it, um, polo, t- uh, polo tops tees and, and baseball caps, which is it? You've got a collection of oh, both? I've or? got a... Um, NBA jersey collection, so I've got about 130 jerseys Whoa. at home, um, and I've got a hat collection of about oh, about 85, wow. 85 snapbacks. But Excellent. I love my jerseys. If good I sell them, I reckon I'll get about 20 grand. Yeah. In all seriousness. How good's that? That's really good. All right. <laughs> How about you, Brady? I, I actually had um, a number of clothes, but I dropped them off to the Salvation Army oh. um, just recently. Just I just like to live within my means, um, <laughs> but. What was the question? Oh, fo- uh, basketball. I like basketball and I like tennis. Okay, I, nice. I like tennis. Excellent. All right. What do you do to relax and unwind? Uh, I play NBA 2K and <laughs> WWE 2K yeah. on my yeah. Xbox. <laughs> what about uh, Fortnite? You into that? No, no, no. no, no, I, no. Okay. I, um, I also got a dog, uh, a yes. husky, so I've been husky. Yep. And his name's Griffin. So yep, seen a bit of that um, on Insta. He's a legend. Yep, good. I, I don't mind a nice glass of vino. From oh. South Australia, so I don't mind sort of perching up on the couch. Yep. And um, yeah, what sort of vino would be your favourite if you wanted um, to give that a plug? Look, I just like to say vino because it sounds like I know what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> sounds like I know what I'm talking so about. Like saying things like vintage and yep. aromas, just okay. sort of uh, textures. It all goes together. You yeah, know? good on you, mate. All right, nice. Um, who was your idol or hero when you were growing up? Because um, I was a Carlton fan, sorry. Um, Kuda Fides mm-hmm. and Chris Judd were my two favourites. Yep. Um, but I'm a massive basketball fan, so Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant and LeBron Beautiful. James. Beautiful. And, and who would be your favourite right now? 
So Kevin Durant's my favourite. So Great. I yep. follow him. Yep. So wherever he goes, I go. But I don't really like Golden State. So okay. if anyone's watching the playoffs at the moment, I uh, want um, Cleveland win. Beautiful. All right. Excellent. Okay. What about you, Brody? I really liked Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. And okay. That's sort of when he retired. That's sort of when I stopped watching yep. Yeah. Yep. NBA. Cause that's sort of yep, good. What makes you happy in life? We'll stick with you on this one. The simple things, just you know, taking a dog for a walk. Um, nice. Avocado on toast. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Avocado on toast. What we have? So- yep, that's good. All right. What about you? Um, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you seeing a pattern or a theme here? No, my my missus Kimmy, my my dog Griffin. Yep. Um, they're probably the main two things. Good. And my Xbox. Yep. All right. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Gotta throw that one in. Do you have any hidden skills or talents? I'm good at Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brody. Um, top of my head, I, I can squirt water out my two front teeth. <laughs> nice. That's, um, we won't ask you to do it. The people yeah, in the front row are going. Yeah. No, that's, that's it. A skill or talent? Can you or do you play musical instruments, boys? No, but I've got an ambition to start learning the guitar. Guitar. I've said that for the last eight years. Yeah, and I, I think you did on the so last time you were on the show too. Yeah. yeah. Have you picked no. up any chords? No. No. All right. All right. Leave that no, one alone. No, I can't. No, nothing at all. Um, what's your favourite movie of all time and how many times have you seen it? So my favourite actor, like I said before, is The Rock. Yep. Um, and his movie Gridiron Gang, oh. which is a true story of yep. him being like a... He's in the juvie. He's yep. not in juvie. He's like yep. a, a teacher there. And yep. Yeah, he, take, he takes a team from there and turns them into you know, a, a, everyday people and, and off the streets. And nice. They become a successful NFL team. So Beautiful. That's probably my favourite. Have you watched Ballers with him? Yeah, I watched yeah, everything. Like that that's series. awesome. Yeah. I just don't like how the episodes only go for about 18 minutes. Yeah. It's terrible, yeah, but I love like The Rock, that. so I watch anything he's in. Yeah. All right. Brody? Um, I don't mind the Batman uh, trilogy. Um, Heath Ledger kind of yeah, stuff yeah, we're yeah, talking? But um, so, some of the all-time ones for me would be separate movies to Batman would be um, Law Abiding Citizen. Oh, yeah. And yep. um, like The Next Three Days, that, oh, that sort of... Uh, like a bit of uh, thriller yeah, adventure action. Yeah, I don't yeah. want like a, yeah, like a real psychological sort of yep. thriller. I hear yeah. Good, good. Uh, do you think you can sing or dance? No. No? <laughs> no. no. I can only dance no. when, like anyone is when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We get that answer a lot. And that's all I need to hear from you. Um, is there anything that really annoys you that, that you want to tell us about? What's getting under your goat at the um, moment? I, uh, so something that really annoys me, this is weird, mm. is so when you go to the gym and um, you put your protein in your protein shake and it's got oh. that little silver thing where you shake it. Oh, yeah. I just hate that noise. <laughs> the, the little ball bearing in there. It. I hate it with a passion. So you'd never be, you'd never be a graffiti artist, would it, you? I've got to walk away. Wow. Yeah, it's something I absolutely hate. So you don't like spray cans either? Oh, I don't mind them. It's just something to do with the protein shake. Wow. When I get a protein okay. shake, I take the silver thing out and I just shake it. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. On protein shakes, I don't like it when you get that like residue suck at the bottom that doesn't never get mixed. <laughs> Do you guys? And then you just leave it, and don't care about it, and <laughs> yeah. still use it anyway. But one of the things. Yeah. If I may, um, yeah. I got home tonight and I live with Tim Broomhead, but Tim Broomhead lives with me. And, and my dog um, pissed inside tonight oh. upstairs oh. In, in the, on like the carpeted area. Oh, yeah. And it had been left there oh. when I got home. And I was just like, dude, like, just clean it. <laughs> like, just, I know it's not your dog, but you know? we're a team. And yeah. You're really not performing. <laughs> So that was, that really... <laughs> Remember yeah. when you moved in and we, we said, you know, this is us, it's yeah. to be together. Yeah. yeah. All right, good point. Oh, and oh, I can... married, <laughs> and married. Uh, who's your favourite uh, sports person anywhere in the world? I know we spoke about it. You probably just want to reiterate that we're just going to go... Yep, yep. KD. And did you have anybody yeah. else? Oh, uh, uh, no. Roger Federer. Yeah, oh, okay, because of tennis, I like that. Um, who was the person at the club that you would want to have the ball to win the game to kick after the siren? Will Hoskin Elliott or Tim Brimhead? But, well, but I don't want Tim to get any credit. <laughs> <laughs> Not until he cleans up that way. Yeah. Mine's probably right. Will Hoskin Elliott or Jordi Goey. Yes. Wow. All right. Can you? While well, we're on that, can you remember your first goal? Yeah, my first game against West Coast when I played for the Giants. We were down ninety to nothing at 
quarter time, not half time, quarter time. Quarter time. So I remember it down at Blacktown, <laughs> but I kicked my goal in the last quarter. It was a little dinky little handball over the yeah. top, and it was a Joe the Goose goal, yeah. pretty much. And uh, yeah, celebrated Beautiful. like a kick goal of the year. <laughs> yeah, and we were down by about 180 points <laughs> at that stage. Yeah, yeah. All right. What about you, brother? Um, mine was at the SCG. Um, there was like a big passage of play, and I was yeah on the end of it. And yeah, nothing too fancy, but no, went through. But just nice enough to remember. All right, let's go with this, boys. Who at the club reckons they are good at karaoke? Uh, well, we had a karaoke night last year, <laughs> if you remember that, bro. So it was a bit of a piss up. But um, Ben Crocker. Oh, oh yeah. wow. It was he hilarious. Can he can, he can, he can, he can sing and he hilarious, can dance. Hilarious good or hilarious oh, bad? Oh, it was half good. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay. Yeah, and you'd go the same with that, all right. Who thinks they're the most intellectual at the club? <laughs> Probably Broads. Uh, nah. Broads or Darcy? Not me. Uh, <laughs> Off come the glasses. Bit of Clark Kent going on here. Coxie, um, maybe. Yeah, pro- maybe probably Coxie or Darcy more. Okay, all right. Tom Phillips. Yeah? Perhaps, yeah. Okay. He has a radio channel, Tom Phillips. So uh, Raz FM 106.9 if you want to listen. Okay. I'm being uh, serious. Yeah, I hear you. I did hear you. Yeah, it's good. Uh, who is tight with their money at the club? Uh, it, it get, I get done I with this because I drive a scooter. Of course. And, um, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. It's a $5 fill-up. <laughs> it's pretty good, pretty good. They did show that footage the other week, and I think everybody in Melbourne went, what? I know. Wow. And it, it is old news, but I, I, yeah. I dare say it will continue to come yeah. up. Well, good on you for anyway. All right. Okay. Who do you reckon start with money? Probably Pendles. Pendles is probably pretty tight with his money. Really? Well, he makes a lot of it. The more they've got, the less they spend. Yeah, yeah that's why they've got it. All right. Who thinks? Uh, who is the worst dresser at the club? Hands down, Sam McClarty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got. He's still got the old Jano combo. You know the uh, jeans and runners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not allowed to do that one. Yeah, that's gone. What about you, Brady? Uh, who do you reckon? I'm, I'm not just saying this, but Tim actually has some pretty. <laughs> Broomy. <laughs> <terrible. laughs> just like. Yeah, eight, like, skate park clothes. Like, yeah, just, right. Yeah. I'm guessing if he sees this, he's not going to be cleaning up that wee anytime soon. All right. <laughs> He'd uh, probably do his own wee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, who thinks they're the coolest, hippest trendsetter at the club? Who's that dude? Sam Murray, maybe? Yeah. Oh, I was just about to say Sam, Sam, Sam Murray. Murray. Yeah. 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 Sam Murray. Yeah, all right. Lay down the on that one. Uh, who spends the most time in front of the mirror? Oh, Steve-O. Jane Stevenson. Yeah. His hair is uh, on fleek all the time. Really? And if you ruin it, he gets cranky out there. Oh. And he doesn't get cranky. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you have any opinion? Um, yeah, I would say Steve, but generally a lot of the guys take a fair bit of pride in their appearance. Um, uh, uh, before the game, I'd obviously do my hair up, and get, yeah. get it, uh, put the foundation on, and, <laughs> and, uh, um, and I'd. Look, and there's guys lining up and they don't even have long hair. They're not yeah, doing right. it. They're just like sort of just tidying it. <laughs> so it's not, just, yeah, it's not yeah. just guys with long hair. All right. I like it. Who is, uh, what is your singing in the shower go-to song? I like um, Mr. Brightside. Oh, you know okay. Song? Yes. Know I it very well. Jack lot. Rewild on the show last week. Yes. Yep. I don't really sing in the shower. I'm more of a, just a, 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 think, hummer? a thinker. Or oh, okay. I'm yep. sort of in there to get the job done. Like I don't, I'm just there to sort of like <laughs> wash and like get out. I'm not there to have like a sing and a dance, you know. I get it. Yeah. Very valid yeah. point. All right, who's the biggest pest at the club? Um, probably. Well, oh, Croc's pretty annoying because yeah. he's just always. He's like an energizer bunny. He doesn't yeah. run out. Yeah. And he just goes and goes and goes. Non stop. But when you do need it, he's actually really good. He okay. just start raving on the. At the top of the gym, whilst we're all <laughs> being serious, like he's yeah. pretty much best. No, I don't. I don't really have anyone. I'll think about it. I'll okay, think about all right. It. We could just say that no one annoys you at the club because they're not a pest. What one achievement are you most proud Pendles of? Pendles annoys me. Pendles annoys you. Yeah, that guy annoys me. Okay, you. we won't go into any detail. We'll yeah. just go. That's it. Um, what's um, what's the one achievement that you're most proud of? Um, what do you have? Just uh, what springs probably to mind. Being an ambassador for Footy Colours Day, which is a fight cancer foundation yep. um, thing, and nice money gets donated to it, and yep. they do footy, footy Colours Day in the month of September. So good on you. That's not a footy achievement, but that's my yeah. biggest achievement because I can have an influence in the public, which is something that I'm very proud of. Very nice, mate. I like that. Great answer, Brody. Uh, top that. I don't sound as. Almost. <laughs> um, oh, 
a number of things. I'm, I'm pretty proud that I'm um, continuing to tip into the, the off-field sort of personal development, going to uni and more than halfway sort of through my um, degree. So I'm, uh, I'll be pretty wrapped when I finish that. Good. And um, I was pretty happy that I was able to... I, tra I travelled Europe by myself last year for six okay. weeks. And, um, yeah, believe it or not, I was massively out of my comfort zone to be able to go and do that. So I was pretty proud to... Um, yeah, to, to go and do that. Well, that's nice because that's personal and I think that's really where I'm aiming with this is just to find a little bit of something about you that we can share with the public that, you know, doesn't give up anything that's going to get you into any trouble, but that's nice. Um, what is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Um, Come home alive. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, mine was just to... Uh, have fun, really. <laughs> Don't get caught and come back alive. <laughs> Don't get caught and come back alive. All right. Now, nah, mine was boring. Just to have, like, to have fun. That's be seen. So I coach under twelves footy. Yes. So I'm a coach down at Noble Park. Noble Park. Yep. Um, we're five and one at the moment. We're flying. Yeah. Um, we're doing a show down there on July the twenty first. Beautiful. Where yeah. at Moodamy? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, Forty five to fifty six. Beautiful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so that's something I always reiterate reiterate to yep. the uh, under twelves, yep. boys and girl, is to make sure they have fun. It's the most yeah. important thing. Yeah, well, we always talk about you when we go down to that venue. We've got Kevin Sheedy, Doug Hawkinson and uh, Tony Shaw doing it. So it should yeah. be a hooter. Um, what song is on, uh, high on rotation on your iPod? I don't have an iPod, I got my phone, just to be a smart yep. ass. No, that's all right. Um, smart ass we like. Well, I like the greatest showman. I'm all, I'm all over all that. All over at the moment. that at the moment. Yeah, that's I'm just great. Listen to it on repeat. Uh, how many people have seen it? Greatest showman. Right. His songs and are great. That's and good. Pete really Murray. good. Pete Murray's a genius. I love his, yeah. sa his saving grace. Is what the song's called. A bit of okay. Bond. James Blunt. Yeah. Bonfire Heart. I think it's called. Beautiful. Or? That's a good one. Yep. Yeah, good. Um, I, I don't have music on my phone. All right. Um, I have it on an iPod. But so if you're going to say on my phone, does anyone have like? When you get the iPhone, for some reason, there's like a U2 song on your phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Randomly, there's like U2 on my phone. <laughs> but besides that, it'd probably be um, something just that reflects my personality, like John Mayer, just charismatic. John Mayer, just all right. Really yeah, that, yeah that, well, that, you've just, a lot more of the jigsaw puzzle just fell into place then. I like that. What has been the best win you've ever been involved in? Um... There's probably two. One at the Giants in our third year when we were no good. We'd won three games in two years. We beat, in round one, we beat Sydney Swans and there was a cross-town robbery and, yeah. and that was an unbelievable win. Great. Um, and probably probably my first year at the Pies in round two, and not just because it was Richmond, but we actually beat them because Brody kicked the goal pretty much on the siren and that that was unbelievable. Yeah. That's it. That's the reaction I'm looking for when we get those. So, um, what? Please share. Um, what's been the best ever win you've been involved with, Brody? Uh, probably the most recent one against Crows um, this year. That yeah. was pretty huge. Um, yeah. It was my yeah my birthday that weekend. I'm back in, back in um, in Adelaide, so it was pretty special. Great, yeah. excellent. Yeah, nice emotions to go with that. A couple more questions here, boys. Which club has the most feral supporters? I wouldn't know because I'm not in the crowd, but from what I hear, everyone always tells me the Adelaide fans are mm. terrible, yeah, as in yeah. like South Australian yeah. fans. Yep. Port and Adelaide. Yeah. Did you say Port Adelaide? Port, Port and, and Adelaide, Adelaide fans. Yeah, I have yeah. heard that Collingwood and Port Adelaide are pretty bad. Yeah. We've, uh, uh, you boys just asked me how many shows we've done. We've had 15 shows already this year, and the answer has been 99.9% of the time, Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. All right. Mm. So there you go. Um, what's the one thing you can't live without? Probably two things. My partner, Kimmy, and my dog, Griffin. Oh, good answers. All my right. Xbox and my 2K. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably oh, my, uh, my bed. I, I like my bed. Good. Uh, nice. And it's pretty bad, but probably, like, realistically, probably my phone. Like, you know when you're not... You don't have your phone for five minutes and you... Yeah. It's like when you leave your watch at home or something, like, yeah. Shit, there's my phone. <laughs> so, Nothing worse yeah, than spazzing out. Oh, yeah. Um, where has been your best ever holiday, boys? Uh, I've been in the States a few times because of the NBA, obviously. When I went mm. one time for 10 days, I went to 11 games. <laughs> Whoa. So, um, wow. Two on wow. Christmas Day, that was unbelievable. But yeah. I love Fiji. Fiji's unbelievable. Okay. I go there pretty much every year. So. Wow. Well, all right. Really good. Um, Bula and Vanaka. Yeah. That's what they say. Okay. Yeah. Which is... Hello and goodbye. There you go. 
I really enjoy Italy. Italy? Yeah. All right. Any particular um, place in Italy? Uh, Tuscany. Tuscany. Um, <laughs> so you're um, seeing a pattern here? Wine, Italian. Um, I love it. Um, no, I've got some friends there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, that live in um, a small sort of town outside of Venice. So How I've, gorgeous. Yeah, I've, I've gone and visited them a number of times. Nice. And be able to sort of stay with their family and get yeah. the real sort of authentic experience, which is, yeah, amazing. Beautiful. Well done. All right, last two here, boys. What's your favourite meal? Pizza. Pizza? What sort of pizza? Well, it depends what mood I'm in. If I'm really, probably just pepperoni. With okay. like some oregano on top. All right, pepperoni with a, with oregano. A, with a vino on the side. <laughs> okay. yeah. Bit of you two in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of mood swing pizza. What um, about you, mate? My favourite cuisine's Mexican. I oh, love yeah. nachos. Yeah. But my favourite meal is probably lasagna. Oh. My favourite food is probably donuts. Wow. All right. Thanks for covering all those bases. Uh, last question. Who's been the best ever player you've seen play football? From your perspective. Oh, Chris Judd. Chris Judd? He's just... A, yep. Superstar. Um, oh, I'm Superstar, just going to sort of make it. it a little bit easier to answer that question and say who I played with, and it's Dane Swan. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he'll be happy to hear that too. Um, ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together for these two? That was a segment called Who Are You? Thanks, guys. That wasn't too hard. It's just ease our way into the show and these lovely people get to know a little bit more about you and they'll be able to go to work tomorrow and go, you know, this... That Brody Grundy loves wine and he loves going to Italy. And then Adam Shaw loves his Xbox. Did you know that? You know? So, well done, boys. Thank you. Uh, we are on a footy panel show. We're going to talk a little bit of football. It is very quick that we do this, but we are going to discuss it. Let's introduce it, please, Sam. And the prize of one. Great game, boys. Well done. It's AFL Fixture 2018, round 10. We're going to skip this game because it's obviously the first game to, uh, on Friday night, Friday, May 25th. We're going to jump over to Saturday, the 26th of May. This game is at the MCG, 1.45pm. It's Richmond versus St Kilda. Let's hear the Richmond song. Thank you very much. Let's go straight to St Kilda. And it'll be there. All right, boys. Um, you've been here before. You know that we do this nice and quick because the fans want to hear what your tips are, but we don't need to hear any, um, you know, any, don't need to go into too much great, greater detail than that. So it's MCG 145 at Richmond versus St Kilda. Thoughts? Tips? Oh, I think it's an obvious one. Richmond are flying at the moment, although they lost on the weekend, but... But you know, you know when you say obvious, you don't expect Colton to come out and no, beat Essendon don't. and then you don't no, expect don't. Essendon to come out and, you know, so it's, whew, what a season. They're two very similar game styles. I think they're both fast up and back footy. Yep. Richmond's pressure is unbelievable though, probably the yeah. best in the AFL. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if St Kilda have it on their own terms, um, there's no reason they can't win. Yeah. But cool. I think Richmond will win pretty comfortably. All right. Thanks, mate. What about you, Brady? Yeah, I think Richmond. Yeah, probably. Richmond. Knock it on the head. All right, let's go to the next game. This is the Gabba, 4.35pm. Brisbane versus Sydney. Let's hear Brisbane. We are the pride Thank you very much. Let's go straight to the city. And then we'll do there. There we go. Uh, Gabba, Brisbane versus Sydney. Um, I was just thinking about this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and what I used to do when I was younger to pick the tips, I used to do Brisbane Lions versus Sydney Swans, and I would... Picture the lion fighting the swan. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and nice. obviously a lion would win. So I'm going to choose You're Brisbane. a creative person, I know that. So I can get that. So the lion attacks the, the swan, the swan gets eaten, and <laughs> Brisbane goes, Arr. yeah. All right, cool. I reckon in this case, the swan's going to be pretty big, so he's going to bash shit out of the lion. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, I, think, I actually think Brisbane, because Brisbane... They're a much better team than a 1-7 yeah, team. They are sure. very, very, very good. They're very competitive. And at home, they're very hard to beat. So I'm going to back Brizzy. Can I ask you this, Adam? Would you have picked Hawthorne or Brisbane last weekend before the game? Uh, I reckon I honestly, honestly would have chose Brisbane. Okay. Because at, like I said, at the Gabba, they're very good. And yeah. but we didn't take them lightly when we played them. And we only got over them by eight points or yeah. whatever it was. Yep. Or six points, I think it was. So, yep. And in every other game, they've been really competitive except yeah. one against Richmond. Yeah. So... I think they'll win. Yeah, okay. And, well, Brody, you've yeah. given us yours, so that's fine. Let's go with that. Um, we're going to head down the highway, GMH, GMAHBA Stadium, 7.25 on Saturday evening. It's Geelong versus Carlton. Let's hear the cat song. We are Thank Geelong. you, Sam. Let's go straight to the Blues. 
Are All right, that'll do there. So it's 7.25 down at uh, Geelong, old Cadidia Park. So what are your thoughts here, boys? So thoughts a, or tips? There's a big cat versus a big blue man. Who do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you go to the footy, you see the big blue man in that blue speedy machine. He's huge. No, he's in that uh, hovercraft. hovercraft. Well, he used to be in, yeah. So it's in the warm-up, Brody watches yeah, the mascots Carlton. when they run around. So. <laughs> <laughs> that so. doesn't sound too good, eh? <laughs> I just wanted... What was your tip? What did you end up saying? Uh, Kelton versus Geelong? Yeah, just Geelong. Yeah. Geelong, all right. Yeah, Geelong at home. Cats <coughs> are sc- the cat's going to scratch the blue man's eyes out. All right, let's head to Spotless Stadium, 7.25pm. GW, GWS versus Essendon. Let's see GWS. That'll do there. Thank you, Sam. Straight to Essendon. All right, boys, here we go. Um, Spotless Stadium, 7.25, GWS versus Essendon. Gino, yes, I've yeah, got I, I think it will be a close game. Um, yeah, uh, I just I see sort of Essendon. <coughs> I, I just see them sort of putting up a bit of a fight. So okay, I'm going to pick GWS though. Right. But I think it'll be close. Okay, all right, that's all we need. What are you He's thinking? Choosing about? GWS because remember the Essendon mascot's only a little mosquito, so <laughs> mosquitoes aren't too tough. That's very true. No, I reckon very true. Um, There'll be no bombing on. I do reckon the Bombers will win. Yes. Um, yeah, the Giants have quite a few out, and haven't they? The Bombers, the backs against the wall, even though they won on the weekend, <coughs> they got to come out. They got a really, they, they got that. a really, good, oh, they got a great team on paper. And yeah, they play well, and, yep. and they've obviously won on the weekend, so I reckon they can beat them. Yeah, good. All right, thank you very much. Now let's head over to Sunday, twenty seventh of May. This game, Eddie Head Stadium, one ten p.m. It's Hawthorne versus West Coast. Let's hear the Hawthorne song. Thanks, Sam, and straight to West Coast. Cheers, mate. All right, Hawthorne versus West Coast. West Coast, my God, they're playing great football. Interesting to see how they come over here and play. Yeah, I think um, the West Coast forward line is going to be too too potent, especially with their midfield. I think um, they'll be able to... Yeah, Hawthorne has a pretty good midfield, but I think Nick Nutt in there uh, provide pretty good use um, down to the likes of uh, Yo, Shuey, if he's playing. Yeah. To Kennedy and Darling, it's pretty tough. <laughs> They're good, straight down the guts. Uh, very good spine. Um, what do you think, Ed? Um, I think West Coast, but they don't. When they come to Melbourne, it's always a bit like iffy for them because they don't usually play on the Melbourne mm. tracks overly well. So, yeah. it'd be interesting to see, especially Eddie had being a small, small, narrow field. So, yeah. I think West Coast will win, but I wouldn't be surprised if Hawthorne win. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, Perth Stadium. This game, North Melbourne versus Freo. Let's hear the Freo song. Thanks, Sam. Straight to North. Uh, that'll do there. Perth, Perth Stadium, 2.40 p.m. You boys have played there at Perth yet? No, you haven't, have you? No, right. Um, what do you think here, then? Freo versus North uh, at Optus Stadium. I might go, yeah, North. Just a little, yep. little upset. They've been probably yeah. the most underrated team of 2018 and they were you know to be sitting way a fifth on the ladder at the moment they're doing a, they're doing a lot of good yeah i'd say again north wouldn't surprise me but i think freo at home they're okay. like the flat track bullies if you want to call them yep. they're really really good at home okay when they travel they're a bit iffy as well but i think they'll beat them all right okay uh this is our second last game we're going to talk about this is melbourne versus adelaide this game is up at traeger park which is in alice springs 2:50 p.m. It's Melbourne versus Adelaide. Let's see Melbourne. It's a grand old That'll do there. Go straight to Adelaide. We're the pride of South Thanks, mate. Um, what do you think here, boys? Uh, uh, Melbourne are playing a good brand of football. This is their game because they've sold it and they're going up to Alice Springs to play it. Um, Adelaide are playing good football too. But what do you think? Um, oh, has anybody been to um, Traeger Park in yeah, Alice Springs? I've been there. Yeah. Has anyone been to Alice Springs before? Yeah. yeah, it's humid as hell. Um, mm. I've never been to hell, but I assume it's, <laughs> I assume it's pretty you humid. You can imagine. Um, <laughs> but I, I think... Um, <laughs> uh, if it's right, anything mate, like the movie Little Nicky, it'd be right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, think Mel- I think Melbourne. Um, I'm going to back Melbourne. I think their, their midfield again, similar to West Coast, I think would be... Yeah, Max Gorn providing first use. And their, their mids are pretty... Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter which way they go. Clayton yep. Oliver. Um, and Viney's back Nathan, on. Nathan Jones, Jack Viney. Yep. Um, yeah, pretty hard to stop. Yeah, good. All right. Your yeah, thoughts, I reckon, mate? I reckon Melbourne, Adelaide have quite a few out. 
Yeah, OK. Well, there we go. Uh, we've just gone all through the football. We're going to head back to Friday night now. We feel like we've been all, all around the weekend, but we're going back to Friday night. This is Friday the 25th of May. This game is proudly brought to you by the big picture people, the experts in home cinema. Now if we could get the big picture on this game between Collingwood and the Western Bulldogs. Let's hear the Bulldog song. Sons of the West. Beautiful, that'll do. Thank you very much. One supporter in the room. And uh, let's go straight over to the Bulldogs. Oh, the Collingwood to the Collingwood. Sorry, Sir Toby. Good old Collingwood forever. They know how to play the game. Side by side, they stick together to uphold the magpie's name. See the barracks are shouting as all barracks should. All the premierships are king. Boys, I just want to discuss, obviously you um, uh, had a good win last weekend. What did you take from that game and what are you looking forward about going into Friday night's game? What's been the message from um, the coaching staff? Um, oh, I think the positive we can take out of it is that, you know, we we didn't play our brand of footy for four quarters. And, and to be honest with you, we haven't played our brand of footy for four quarters probably mm. since Anzac Day. But we've been able to win. So... Yeah. I think that shows the maturity of the group. You look at good teams, they win no matter what, yep. whether they're playing good, whether they're playing bad. And you know, we win off the back of our defence, off, off the way we defend. Yep. Um, you, know, you look at the Geelong the week before, we kept them to 50 points, but we just couldn't score and that's mm. what let us down. So we defend well. We, we gives ourselves the best opportunity to win. And um, against St Kilda, we didn't defend overly well, but you know we were lucky, not lucky, because we work mm. on our offence and, and it helped that Geordie kick six goals. But I think... You know, Collingwood and the Bulldogs, we, we play a very similar brand of footy. Yep. And it's going to be who can stick to their brand more so than the other team throughout the whole game. And the most exciting thing is if we play our brand of footy for four quarters, um, I believe, and I think anyone at the Pies believe that no one can really go with us if we Good. play our four-quarter brand of footy. So yep. I think this week will be an awesome challenge for us. And, mm -hmm. um, and I think we'll come out and make a big statement. Bloody awesome. Well done. Um, yeah, you can put your hands together for that, please. Um, what I wanted to allude to the fact is uh, you've been struck by some pretty bad injuries. I talk about, obviously, your um, flatmate in Tim Broomhead. You've obviously lost a uh, gold sack. You've got injuries, uh, crazy little injuries. I feel so sorry for Jamie Elliott at the moment. Just can't take a trick. Uh, at the same time, you've just had Alex Fasolo go down, who's been busting his proverbial in the, in the twos, gets his chance, and now he's out for maybe six to eight. You've got other silly little injuries, and when I call them silly, I don't mean to be degrading here, or, um, but they're injuries that you just wish that they weren't happening at the club because there's, you've got every chance to be the, one of the, the formidable teams to be sitting in the top eight quite comfortably instead of these injuries pushing you, um, well, putting you into a circumstance that you don't really need to be in. Can you add anything to how you find the club is going as your, the team, Brody? Um. I think just with with any footy club, um, obviously injuries are a part of the game, and um, you know, the media will like to put us under a microscope. Mm. As I think they they have, um, and they're, they're on the back of that, there was a, a couple of internal, uh, you know, small reviews about you know what are we doing um, the clubs. Yeah. Uh, even with Adelaide, I think they had an internal review on their yeah. hamstring protocol. So. Mm. I think um, the clubs need to, and they are um, always progressing and um, in, in response to what the game's asking um, mm. of them and, and what it's showing. So um, keeping that in mind, that's probably why Daniel Wells is, has been managed this week, why he's not playing, um, just sort of the age that, that he is and the history that he's mm. had. Um, and, and the sort of numbers... Uh, I don't think support, um, no, sorry, supporters, uh, viewers of the game appreciate the sort of volume... Uh, that these players are running and the the um, the intensity that they're doing. Yeah, it at. So, um, with it, yep. yeah that's that's sort of uh, why guys like Daniel Wells uh, yeah. are being managed. Yeah. Can I ask you? Um, how, uh, we don't have to get too personal here, but how how is Jamie going with everything? I mean, it, it must be so frustrated for him to just want to get back out on the track. Have you had a you know a bit of a heart to heart with him? Have you spoken about? Well, he just um, he's had to. He just bought a motorbike, so... Oh, I think okay. It's, uh, oh, so he's, he's fine uh, then. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. No, he's... Um, no, he's obviously, he's obviously pretty flat and, yeah. and in a similar boat to, to Darcy, but I don't think 
their, their major hamstring no. long term yeah. troubles. It's just I was talking to I haven't spoken to Jamie about his injury, but I was talking to Darcy, and um, the frustrating thing is that these boys they put in a pound of work mm. um, every single day, going to tasks. What can they do to, to get better, get their body right? And um, uh, you know, Darcy was saying, you know, it, it's unfair. Like, why is this happening? I, I feel like I'm doing everything I possibly can, and. Mm. The unfortunate thing is that sometimes um, yeah, you, it doesn't matter how much you do. Yeah. Um, if you know Tyson doing his knee, like it, he couldn't have injuries like that. You, you can't prepare for injuries like no. that. So no. um, it's just an unfortunate part of the game. Absolutely. Um, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of footy uh, shows out there that talk about all the stats and the opinions and so forth. We don't do that because if you want to get all that information, you can get it from there. We get the boys on so you can find out a little bit about them. Um, we want to obviously get their opinions and their thoughts on things. The teams don't come out until Thursdays. Today's Wednesday. Obviously, that doesn't happen either. If the boys want to divulge anything, then the main things we'll talk about is probably who may be in and out and your thoughts on how you're going to beat the Bulldogs on the weekend. So if we could just take it from there. Yeah, I think potentially, not sure who's going to come in yet. We don't really find out until Thursday mm. either the next day. But I yeah. think Reedy's in the mix to come back. Um, I think Braden Maynard's in the mix. Levi Greenwood's a chance to come in. Great. Uh, Josh Dacos, Brent, uh, Callum Brown. Um, oh, there's a few boys that are Excellent. in the mix. Um, and in terms of how we beat them, I think what I said before about mm. very similar styles of footy yeah. we both play, whoever stacks up, I suppose, their brand over, over the opposition brand. So, um, And we can't see why we won't do that. And like I said, it's off the back of our defence. We yeah. defend well. Um, we're going to score. So we can stop Bulldogs from scoring because they're a very... Um, a slingshot type team yep. where they go one end to the Rebound. other really quick. Yep. Uh, if we can stop that, then we'll win the game. Brilliant. Uh, one thing just before I get an answer from you, Brody. When we had you on the show last year, um, Collingwood were a little bit iffy as to whether you were going to go. And I said, are you going to make the finals? And you said something towards the effects of FES, right? And you actually came out and I watched you every game of football for the next four or five weeks. Everything you said you were going to do, you did. You're a man of your word and you're a bloody good player and the Collingwood Football Club is lucky to have you. So, well done. Um, one, one last point from you just to sign off on that. Um, your football is going very well for you at the moment, Brody. Is there anything you want to allude to the fact, John, coming up against the Bulldogs on Friday night? Um, just to wrap oh, this oh, one Just up. further to what Adam said, um, but, I mean, as you guys are aware, there's the forwards, mids, backs, so we'd like to break our reviews up into those mm. sort of divisions. So... From a midfield's perspective, um, Adam likes to think he's been getting some good service from yours truly. <laughs> uh, but uh, a few of the other boys uh, have have said, and, and the coaches have said, we need to start sort of maximising um, the talent that we've got in there. So we sort of had a look at had a look at that, and um, looking at being a, a bit more. Um, a bit more defen more sort of uh, a stronger defensive mindset in, okay. the, um, in terms of the, the centre bounce work and the stoppage work, uh, working for um, one specific player um, just to really, um, yeah, how, what am I saying? Adam? Make use of the ruck dominance because oh, no, no, uh, without uh, taking uh, the piss or anything, uh, um, yeah. Brody always gets his hand to the ball first more yeah. often than not. He's yeah. obviously the best ruckman in the comp. But we feel as though us being, um, us, well, not making use, we're not making use of that. Mm. We, uh, you know, we, we either have three of us mids going for the one ball or um, we get miscommunication when you get to the stoppage and, okay. and Brody's chatting two of us and two of us go to get the ball, the other player gets it. So we're just trying to clean that up a little bit um, and just be right. aware of it all. And yep. I think defensive 50 is something that we're focusing on because we don't want opposition teams scoring on us, obviously, mm. and mm -hmm. that's something we can improve on. But more so... Um, you know, we like to play a stoppage brand of footy, so we want to get as many stoppages as possible because yep. we're a very good stoppage team, yep. especially in the forward 50. But we don't make use of our forward 50 um, dominance, I suppose, and, yep. and that's something that we want to really do going forward, especially with Brody in there and Coxie being, you know, a 211 centimetre yeah. backup ruckman. Um, we need that dominance, especially in the forward 50. So um, what I've just said, how you said last year we did, we're going yep. to be doing that. So, Bloody awesome. Um, we can't wait for it. Great insight, mate. Please, ladies and gentlemen, that's awesome. Thank you both very, very much. Um, it, nice, nice just to get that kind of insight because when you're watching the game on the weekend, you're going to know what you heard here tonight and that's what this is all about. Uh, that game was brought to you by the Big Picture People, the experts in home cinema, six great locations, South Moraine, Cheltenham, Fountain Gate, Hoppers Crossing, 
Water Gardens and the Gold Coast. Can you please put your hands together for the boys? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. We're here. I'll introduce the segment. It's called Playing to Win. <laughs> All right, let's give the wheel a spin. Who'd like to go first? I'll go, because Brody went first last year. <laughs> All right. Adam Trelaw's going first. And the first category just, we have is... Just a quick one, Paige. I don't like losing. TV shows. TV shows. All right. You like a bit of TV, mate? Oh, sorry, That's Paige, how this I'm is going to work. Hopeless. Paige, you're going to keep score each time he gets one right, OK? Here we go. I'll give you the characters. All you right. give me the TV show. Okay. Here's your first one. Ross... Rachel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not you. Me. You're not in it. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. This is not your go. Who? Alex. Who? Alex. Ross, Rachel, Joey. No. Hey. Shh. Joey, Chandler. Friends. Friends, yeah. I right. actually didn't know that. I promised yeah. you. Right, we're off to a fly. No help from the audience, please. All right, here's your second one Greg, Bobby, Cindy, oh my gosh. Jan, oh, Marsha. No. Mar Sex in the City? <laughs> Mm. No. What was it? Um, and Peter, it was the Brady Bunch. Oh, gosh. Didn't I think there was no a lot of sex idea. in the city going on on the I'm Brady sorry, Bunch. Paige. That's I'm sorry, Paige. I'm going to be terrible. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You'll get these. No, I won't. Here's your third one. Um, Ari. Oh, that's... Vince, um, Johnny. That is... Uh, and Turtle. Oh, no. What's the show? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's what you have uh, to tell us. Oh, my gosh. It's in my head. It's the... They're like... He's an actor. Yeah. He's an actor. Right. Um, Starts with an E. The no answer us. Hey! Yes. All right. Well done, mate. You got it. I did know that. Yeah, you did get it. That's all right. All right. Here's your fourth one. We're going back a bit. Richie, Potsy, oh. Fonzie. Fonzie. Oh, I know that name. Fonzie, Mr. C, oh, and Ralph Mouth. Uh, that '70s show. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, you're part right. It was in the '70s. What was it? Happy Days. No good. No Crap. square it, babe. All right. Here you go. Don't do a Christian Petrarca on me. Here we go. Number five. <laughs> Maggie Krusty. Oh, my favourite oh. show in the world, The Simpsons. All right. Hey. Beautiful. All right. Number six. Scully. Oh, that's... um. That is... Keep going. <laughs> Mulder. That is bold and beautiful. <laughs> Is it right? Am I right? No. Oh, no. no. It was the X-Files. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bold and the Beautiful, I like it. Scully and Mulder. I'm going to have to tune in for that Bold and the Beautiful episode. Uh, you'd be a doozy. All right, let's see how we go here. Um, <laughs> you're great. Ginger, the skipper. Marianne, the professor. And Gilligan. Oh, Gilligan, isn't he an army sergeant? <laughs> No. Um, Hogan's Heroes? <laughs> no. Mm. Not bad. Not it? bad. Did you want to have a go? What no? is it? Gilligan's Island. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> for goodness sake. All right, you've only got three to go, my friend. Sorry, Paige. Um, Lurch, Morticia. I've heard the name Lurch. Yeah. Oh, that's... um. Pugsley. No, that's... Uh, Thing. The Adams Family. Yeah. Oh, well <laughs> done, mate. Hey. Come on. Put your hands together, everyone. Right on. Good on you, mate. All right. Uh, Lo <laughs> Lois, Meg. Oh, that's uh, Family Guy. Very good. Peter and Brian, the Family Guy. I'm good with uh, cartoons. Yeah, here's your last one. George, Elaine, Kramer and oh, Jerry. That's uh, Seinfeld? Very good. How'd yes. you go down there, Paige? Six. You finished up a score of six. Not too bad, mate. Does he have TV shows now? No, he's got another category. Get an easy Whatever one. comes up, we're going to see what that might be. How you feeling, Brody? Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, spin her up, Sam. Let's see how we go. Oh, look at all those captive faces out there. What's Brody got? Grand final winners. Grand oh. final winners. Oh. That's crap. Do oh, another one? I'm no. Oh, no. I honestly, I honestly... Have you paid any attention to any grand I'll finals I'll over the years? He doesn't answer them. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry, man. We'll just have to see how you go. It's not too bad, Ooh. mate. All you've got to do is I'll give you the year. You've just got to tell me who the club was. Oh, yeah, beautiful. all right. <laughs> I'll get involved. All right. Okay. He'll get, 
I should be. Oh, I should be yeah, you should be all right, mate. You'll be okay. We're all here to support you. We're not here to put you down. You'll be fine. All right. Grand final winners. Who won the grand final in 1995? I oh, know. Oh. Crows? No. Carlton. Correct. Oh. Carlton it was. Who won the grand final in 2008? Hawthorne. Correct. See? Easy. Well done. There's his first score, Paige. Uh, Tom? All right. Uh, question number three. Who won the grand final in 2005? Sydney. Correct. I heard well someone done. whisper Sydney there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shh. You don't want to get ads angry. All right. I don't want to lose. I <laughs> don't want to lose. I love how competitive he is. Um, 2003, who won the grand final? Shh. 2003. Surely there's a time limit here. Oh, Brisbane. Yes. Well done, mate. All right. He's going all right, isn't he, for someone that wanted to spin again. Um, in 2004, who won the grand final? Does it start with? But is it Brisbane? They were in the grand final? You, somewhere where you've... Been before and he said Brisbane. That's no. Yeah. That's no. <laughs> it's no. Uh, the answer's Port Adelaide, mate. Two thousand and four. Oh, far out. All right. In, in two thousand and fifteen, who won the GF? Oh. Chicago Bulls. <laughs> Hawthorne. Yes, mate. You've got it. How's he going in there, Tom? What's he sitting on? No, Score of four. All right. Here we go. In two thousand and fourteen, who won the grand final? Two thousand and fourteen. Mm. What's that? Pretty sure it was Hawthorne again. It was, yeah. These aren't, we're not trying to trick you. It actually did happen. Yeah. 2014, it was Hawthorne. In 1999, who uh, won the grand I, final? I think I know this. North Melbourne. Yes, you'd be correct. Well done. I think the scores are level now, doing aren't they? Like a lot better than what I thought I was. Yeah. Thinking. See? Surprise, surprise. That's well, good for well, footy. Um, you've got two more questions to win. Who won the GF in 2001? Ay, 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 uh, Brisbane? Yes. Well done. And we're going to go one more. Sorry, Ads, but he has one. Tom, you must be happy, mate. Right? Jumping out of your skin down there. Here's your last one. Who won the GF in 1997? The Adelaide Crows. You would be correct. Well done. You finished up with a total score of eight. That's fantastic. Well done. Hey, Paige, you don't go home empty-handed, my dear. There's a, um, a well, a stubby holder um, with a bumper sticker and everything. Thanks for handing back. Uh, Tom, you're our winner. There's all the vouchers for you, my friend. There's a cheesecake shop voucher. There's comics lounge. You're off to fun fields. Um, well done, mate. Please, put your hands together for him. Thanks, guys. That was beautiful. The two um, individuals that are going to be playing for this uh, actually... Uh, the, the, the prize that's associated with this is a cheesecake from the Cheesecake Shop, which is absolutely awesome. So if you could give that to Sandy, that'd be wonderful. Larry and... Larry and Troy. Nice What's, to have you, boys. What sort of cheesecake is it? Have a look at this. Blueberry? <laughs> Blueberry. It's a How colourful that cheesecake. Yeah. Wow! Oh yeah, go pies. So if I can you put the lid down on that, and uh, we'll put that to one side. You boys are playing for this. So what we're going to do? We're going to introduce a segment. This uh, segment is called simply the best. You're simply the best. All right, um, this segment is proudly brought to you by the Cheesecake Shop, the nation's most loved cake shop made with love. What you two boys are going to be playing for is this. And uh, the way that this actually works is we're going to be... Um, well, you've got your microphones in hand. Um, what I'd like you to do, Larry, is yep. um, test your buzzer by saying, Larry. Where's the buzzer, mate? You are the buzzer, mate. I am the buzzer. Yeah, just say, Larry. Larry. That's your buzzer. That's my buzzer. Troy, can you test your buzzer? Troy. There we go. So your buzzers are working. Well done, boys. What's going to happen here is, um, on your behalf, Larry, Brody's going to be scoring. Okay. You're going to have a series of questions that both of you have to answer, but 
It's the first one in. All right. So, so by you using, name when you're yeah, just say your name. Okay. And as soon as you know the answer, if you're correct, the boys will flip over the battle. The one that has got the most right at the end gets that cheesecake. Not a bad little prize. Do you both like cheesecakes? I probably mm. don't need to eat cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully, there's someone here that will um, help you eat it. Uh, uh, what about you, Larry? Jeanette. You like cheesecake? Yeah, we've yeah, got good. relatives will eat it. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> relatives, he's going to win for you. All right, here's how it's going to work, boys. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. First one in that buzzes their name with the correct answer wins. Are you ready to go, boys? Go for it. Here we go. How many premierships has your club won? 15. Larry. Oh. <laughs> Larry, 15. Got to, get in, got to get in with your name, but yes, we'll give it to you, Larry. 15 is correct. Larry. Here we go. How many times has your team played in a losing grand final? Troy. Ooh. Troy. I think it's 44 grand finals, so minus 15, so it'd be 29. How many? 29. Very close, mate. 26. Mm. Not bad. No cigar. Who is your team's captain? Troy. Larry. Troy. Uh, Pendles. Correct. Who wears the number seven at your club? Larry. Adam Chalor. Very, very good. Correct. Did you get that? Beautiful. Yep. That, you, you got that point. No, Larry got that point. No, he got that no, point. Got <laughs> Go easy, mate. Right. We'll give it to you then, Larry. How many, how many members... Protect me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, get in as quick as you can with this one, boys. Cool. How many members does your club currently have closest to within a 1,000? I'll give you. Larry, I'll say 60,000. And you, what would you say, Troy? Yeah, I'd probably say the same, but I'd say 60... Five. What's really interesting, because Collingwood's the only club that won't actually give you the membership numbers, but I did manage to find them out, 75,879. Right. Got me. There you go. Good Where did your team finish on the ladder at the end of the home Troy. and away season? Do oh, you want to go with that? Yep. What is it, Troy? Uh, 11th. No. Mm. Last year was the end of the question. It was 13th. How many games did your team win last year at the end of the home and away season? Larry. Larry? Seven. No, mate. Nine. Mm. What year did your team last win a grand final? Troy. Who, Troy? 2010. And who did they play? Uh, it was in Kilda. Correct. How many points did you win that grand final by? Troy. Troy? 44? No. Mm. Did you ever go, Larry? Uh, about uh, 35. No, mm. you both obviously were so drunk you forgot. <laughs> 56 it was, boys. Uh, I didn't remember the second half. This, so is, a, this is a two-point question for you. Who was your club's leading goal kicker in 2017 and how many goals did they kick? Ooh. Larry. Larry. I'd say Adam Trelaw. And you would, 30, 34 no, goals? No, you would be wrong on both mm. accounts. 34, 34 goals. <laughs> <laughs> goals did you want to have a go, I'm Troy? A fan. Uh, Just for the player? Still Jamie Elliott. Um, right. And it was 34? Yes. <laughs> it is. Two points, mate. Well done. It is. Two points? Jamie Elliott, 34 goals. Well done. There's a three point answer. Uh, well, three points this one's worth. Who was the last Collingwood player to win a Brownlow? Troy. What year and how many votes did they poll? Troy. Uh, Dates won 2011. And it was 32 or 34, maybe. What's your, what's your answer? 34. Danes won 2011 and 34? Yeah. You'd be correct on all yep. three. Yep. Well done, mate. Well done, <coughs> Here's mate. your last one. Um, what would the score be over there, Brody? Two. Two. I don't Brody think you can win here, Larry. I haven't got a six-point question hard. for you. <laughs> here we go. Here's your last one. Who won the Norm Smith medal in the 2010 Grand Final? Troy. Troy. Uh, Pendles. He did. Was there anybody else? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Lenny Hayes. Very good. Uh, takes two points for that one as well. <laughs> In fact, it's a clean sweep. Troy, Crikey. you are well done, Troy. simply the best. Simply well done, mate. Best. Good on you, Chad. Um, this is yours. That um, was proudly brought to you by the Cheesecake Shop with over 50 stores in Victoria alone. Tonight's featured shop is in Mitcham. So thanks very much to the guys from the Cheesecake Shop. What we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to go on to our next segment. This is called What About Me? All right, 
you don't need uh, any, um, no contestants for here, this, no score pads, nothing like that. I'm just going to ask you a series of questions, boys, and mm -hmm. it's pretty simple. Uh, it's more about sort of how you feel about things in society currently, all right? And it'll explain as I go, I'll explain it as I go. Um, how it works is I just want to know how much attention do you give to any of the following? And your choices for your answer are a little, a lot, sometimes, regularly, not at all, or couldn't give a stuff. <laughs> Footy talk back or content on radio, how much do you give attention to that? Couldn't give a stuff. Couldn't give a stuff. Uh, I don't listen to it that much, no. Yeah. All right. it, yeah. The one before couldn't give a stuff. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Footy talk shows on TV. Couldn't give a stuff. <laughs> um, seldom, like sometimes see them, may tune in. Yeah. Rarely though. Well, I'll be watching you tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. How happy was he about that? <laughs> yeah, we're getting on there going, I did like that's good for footy last night. So it was I, better than I this. I haven't actually like seen a sh that show. Like I'm on the footy show tomorrow night, but I've never... I haven't, Actually seen it. It. I haven't seen it yeah. since its new revamp. Yeah, right. We're not missing so, anything anyway. I think I'm going to be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, how much attention do you give to any of the following? Newspapers. What's the middle one? Uh, a a lot, bit? sometimes, regularly, not at all. Regularly. Regularly? Um, couldn't, yeah, couldn't really give a stuff. Yeah, couldn't. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Social media, boys, how much do you give attention to any of the following? Social media being Twitter? Couldn't give a stuff. I don't have Twitter. Okay. No, I use social media a fair bit. So. All right. Um, Facebook? No, nah, that's just for my friends, so that's yep. the last okay. one again. Yep. Um, yeah, I've got a private and yep. a public Facebook account. So. Okay. Instagram? Yeah, that's probably my Yours? main one. Yep. I use that. Yep. And the last one... How much attention do you give any, to any of the following? A little, a lot, sometimes, regularly, not at all, couldn't give a stuff. Journos. Oh, couldn't give a stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. yeah, all right, there you go. Put your hands together for that. That was pretty simple. Thanks, guys. Uh, the way this is going to work, guys, uh, let's introduce it. It's called Say My Name. <laughs> Pick up your microphones, boys. Uh, what's going to happen here is I'm actually going to be in 45 seconds on the clock. I'm going to give you the player's number at your club. It's all current day players. You have to give me their Christian name and their surname in 45 seconds. So I give you the, right. their number. You give me their Christmas name, Christmas name, their Christian name and their surname in 45 seconds. We'll see how many you can get right. right. Who would like yeah. to go first? I'll go. You'll go first. It's very competitive if you watch this, Noah. All right, get ready to flip it over. You'll work it, you get a big workout here. I'm going to call out the number. You're going to tell me their Christian name and their surname in that 45 seconds time allotted. Your first number starts now. 29. Tim Broomhead. Correct, number one. Alex Solo. Correct, 22. Still side bottom. Correct, 40. Josh Smith. Correct, number two. Tori Dugowie. Correct, 33. Rupert Wills. Correct. Number 18. Travis Varco. Correct. 37. Far out. Uh, pass. Braden mm. Maynard. Number 5. Jamie Elliott. Correct. 12. Matty Sharonberg. Correct. Number 7. Adam Trelaw. Correct. 39. Uh, ja uh, Jack Madden. Ben Crocker. Fuck. Num oh, num out. Number 10. I said far number 10. Out. Number 10. Number Scott, 10. Scott Pendlebury. Quick. Scotty Pendlebury. Number 13. Taylor Adams. Correct. Number 35. Oh, Sam, Sam McClarty? No, Jaden Stevenson, mm. number four. Oh. How many did you get, Noah? Twelve. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, have, I have a, a conjecture. For number 12, yes. he said Matty Scharenberg, but his Christian name is Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that because when he answered Brisbane before, I heard someone say Brisbane in the crowd. <laughs> but, but that wasn't from the crowd. Right, um, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm the adjudicator. I'm gonna overrule. Very nice, very nice. But we're just gonna move straight along because we don't have a hell of a lot of time to have you guys here. All right. So um, what's gonna happen here? You're now gonna be keeping score, Ella. Well done, Noah. Score of twelve. Uh, you're gonna be keeping score of how many that Brody can get right. Are you ready to go, Brody? You're all focused. I'm just gonna visualise like the yep. locker room in my head. So good, <laughs> good. I like it. All right. So we're gonna start with your first one. It will start. Now, number 14. 
James Oche. Correct. Number 34. Pass. Tyler mm. Brown. Number 15. Oh, God. <laughs> Lyndon Dunn. Correct. Number 32. Uh, 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 Will Hoskin Elliott. Correct. Number 21. Uh, Tom Phillips. Correct. Number 19. Uh, uh, pass. Levi mm. Greenwood. Number 23. Uh, Josh Dacos. Sam, Sam McClarty. Mm. Number 17. Uh, uh, Callum Brown. Correct. Number four. Brody Grundy. Correct. Number 25. Yeah, Jack Crisp. Correct. Number 16. Uh, Chris Mayne. Correct. Number eight. Tom Langdon. Correct. Number 26. Uh, Josh Dacos. Correct. 46. Uh, Maxon Cox. Yes. How many do you get, Al? 11. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, someone's happy. Must be you. Yeah, well done, Noah. Um, Ella, bad luck. Nice try, though, Brody. That was a good effort. Hey, just for doing that, and you did come an eloquent second, uh, there's a beanie, but on top of that, um, I'll also give you a stubby older, right, and a bumper sticker. Um, but you're our winner, Noah. You get all the vouchers, my friend. And they're all yours. Shake, shake the boys' hands, give them a high five, do whatever you'd like to do. And congratulations, well done. Um, we have a winner, Adam Chalor. Say my name. Thanks, guys. That's a good little segment. I like that. And you know, it's always funny because I've asked a lot of the players and they do the same thing with the visualisation, sit in the locker room and just look around at the numbers on the locker. Um, and you boys did the same. What we're going to do here, we've got uh, one little last segment before we'll do some photos down the back of the room um, with uh, all our lovely fans here tonight. What I'm going to do, we'll introduce a segment. It's called What Can I Say? All right. What I'm going to do here, boys, um, you can just jump in at any old stage, all right? Grab your microphones and get them up nice and close to your chin. Um, what will, what uh, I will be asking you is finish this sentence in one word or finish the sentence. Uh, what are your thoughts on AFLX? Eh. <laughs> meh. Yeah. Eh and meh. Um, Pre-season games are... Hot. Just, Hot. Uh, just annoying. Annoying, yeah, okay. Do you prefer the ball to be bounced or thrown up? Bounced. Bounced. Okay. Should a super goal be in home and away games? No. Uh, don't mind. Don't mind? All right. Is the current length of an AFL game right or wrong? Right. Right? Right. Right, all right. Should Tasmania have a team of their own? Yes. No. 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 Yes and no. All right. Thursday night footy is... Thursday. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. I don't really care. No, that's all right. Your thoughts on a mid-season draft or a trade period? Yeah, don't care. Don't care? No. Don't care. All right. Collingwood supporters are? Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. Lovely and beautiful. That's you oh, guys. Oh, yeah. About. All right. Would you like to see State of Origin return? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, your thoughts on a Twilight Grand Final? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, because yeah. it's Twilight. You don't get a chance to party afterwards. I mm. like right. I like playing at night yeah. or evening because I get to have a pre-game nap, ah. which is important for me. Like a nap. That's why my form has been a little bit down lately because okay. I've been playing during the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. actually saying. Okay, good answer. Um, if you were to describe yourself as a car, what sort of car would you be? A f big, powerful Range Rover. Oh, oh, a a, f <laughs> a scooter. <laughs> yeah, a um, a uh, Optimus Prime transformer. <laughs> <laughs> I can be Bumblebee. <laughs> All right, thanks, mate. Um, should staging be a finable or reportable offence? Reportable. I hate it. It's a disgrace. Oh, I hate staging. That's it's shocking. Up. Good on you, mate. Uh, Especially in basketball, it's shocking. Just, just a fine, I think. Just a fine. <laughs> Quite contrasting Little different answers there, isn't it? So All right. Um, do you like the score review? Yeah. I think it plays a role. Okay. Do you prefer the coach to be on the bench or in the box? I'd like him to be on the bench. bench. Okay. Yeah. Simultaneous answer, I like it. Being an AFL footballer is... Amazing. Tough. Did you say it? Tough. Tough and amazing. Eddie had roof open or closed? Closed. Uh, I, I overthink these things, don't yeah. I? Yeah. 
Uh, at the moment, yeah. Yeah, just closed. Yeah, closed. All right, thanks, mate. A 50 metre penalty for infringing on the 10 metre rule. Is it harsh or fair? Harsh. harsh. Should be 25. Yeah, I agree. Good answer, mate. An AFL coach's job is? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boring. Yeah, all right. Um, your thoughts on Good Friday football? It's good. It's yeah. Good. Good for? Footy. Hey! <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Good for footy. Um, do you like the round 23 bye round? Between the finals? Yeah. Oh, I haven't experienced it yet, so I okay. can't really say anything, but hopefully I experience it this year. Yep. Uh, I, I see, yeah, I, I see the purpose of it, so I don't, okay. I don't mind. Playing for the pies is? An honour. Great. Honour. Privilege. Honour and privilege. Good answers, boys. What's better, mark or goal of the year? Goal. Mark. Mark. Yes, excellent. Collingwood at the end of the home and away season. This year will finish. Fifth. Fourth. Fifth and fourth. There you go. Mm. When you see a poster or merchandise of yourself, what do you think? What a Lol. sexy man. I don't think that. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> it's all right, mate. You're amongst friends up here. It's all cool. Um, which team will finish with a wooden spoon in 2018? Uh, oh, probably Carlton. Yeah. Yeah, go don't with that. Really, Leave really it care. there. Yeah, all right. What is your reaction when you see a kid with your number on their back? What a sexy kid. <laughs> 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 no, I... I it, it's actually pretty crazy. Like, yeah. Really, surreal. Like, it's surreal. Very yeah, yeah. surreal. Yeah, okay. Um... <coughs> Yeah, similar. I, I always sort of give them a little bit of uh, extra love when I see them at the clinics and that. So, Good on um, you, mate. Nice answer. I we like got number it. four in the crowd here. Fantastic. There you go. Little dog sweater. Love that. It's, that's a small kid. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who's your Brownlow tip for 2018, boys? Um, oh. uh, I'm going to say... Oh, probably Nat Fife. Okay, not bad. Yeah, probably five for Five-y. Martin or Dangerfield. They always get votes for some yeah. reason. Okay, for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> <What's> your... <laughs> That's gorgeous. Do you prefer summer or winter? Summer. Yep. Believe it or not, I actually do get tan. <laughs> I don't mind, like, autumn, waking up, like, when the air's... I say summer, he, uh, winter, he says, oh, I like, like that. The air's really like fresh. It. Yeah, it is. It's very yeah. crisp in Melbourne, I hear you. Describe Melbourne traffic in one word. Get a scooter. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Last question. If you had to choose music or TV? Music. Music. Broads? Probably just the TV, like the, like the box, like the... <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the boys, please. <laughs> Um, what I now need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is explain to you, I did it at the start of the show, every Wednesday night we do these shows, we do them from venues all across Melbourne. Last week we're over in Mernda, uh, this week we're over in Manhattan, next week uh, we're going to Bayswater, so we're heading up the road. We've got Richmond's Trent Cotchin and Sean Grigg on the show, um, that show's nearly sold out, we're nearly at capacity for that, I think they're talking about 250, 280, um, so it's going to be big numbers. June the 6th, we're heading to the Chelsea Heights Hotel with Melbourne's Max Gorn and Jesse Hogan. On June the 13th, we've got Geelong's Gary Ablett Jr. and Mitch Duncan, live from the Village Green Hotel in Mulgrave. And on June the 20th, we're heading over to the Plaza Tavern in Werribee for the Western Bulldogs, Jason Johannesson and Matt Suckling. I reel off all those names because they're the type and the quality of player we get on these shows, like Brodie Grundy, like Adam Trelaw. Um, if you'd like to attend any of these shows, tell your friends. They might not all, all ballot for Collingwood. And they can come along and attend any of the shows that I've just reeled off. If you're interested in doing so, get onto the That's Good For Footy Facebook page. Follow us through that. Um, do it through the website. That's where you get all your tickets. Um, the shows, as I said, they're live every Wednesday night. Um, if you want to know more about us, get onto either our Facebook or Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube, the whole kit and caboodle. We're all out there. Um, 
I just wanted to say thanks to Sam. Thanks, he's my sound engineer. There's only three of us to put these shows together. I know it looks like we've got a whole team, but there's only three people, Sam, Sandy and Damo. So um, thanks to everyone that came along and supported us um, tonight and throughout the season. And as I said, we've done 15 shows. We've got 24 more to go. Uh, I also just want to say thanks, Sandy. Sandy does the door, she does the framing, and she says hello to everyone, and she's really gracious about that. So thanks, Sandy. <laughs> While she got that report going, please put your hands together for Brody Grundy, Adam Trelaw from the Collingwood Football Club. Good luck on the weekend, boys. Before you go, what did you think of the show tonight? How'd it go for you? Really good. My favourite segment was the one, the locker room one. That was my favourite. Excellent, favorite. excellent. Thank you. Really excellent. Good. My favourite segment was the one that I won. <laughs> and he's not competitive at all. We don't like that about him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, all I want to say is thanks very much for coming along and supporting the shows. My name's Damien. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.